In other words, I live within yeah. that contra seemingly contradictory right. Christ, and that's that same yeah. God also who you know, yeah. uh, who sometimes worked with Cyrus and Nebuchadnezzar, yes. and who might right, yes. somehow find those, something those of value fun. to Trump in in the advancement of his yeah. kingdom. So I'll stop there. Yeah, well, th those are political yeah. names you've just mentioned, and when Jesus first began to preach, what did, what was he announcing? The incoming of the kingdom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and so this immediately puts us in attention, mm -hmm, correct? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because here is... But the word kingdom itself is huge. huge I mean, huge. Implications. It's yeah, very, yeah, yeah, yeah. very yeah. militant. Yeah. And very, but yeah, go on, yeah. go on. Oh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's attention. Mm -hmm. Because you have this carpenter in this colony of the Roman Empire talking about a kingdom. Mm -hmm. And knowing that allegiance to another king in another kingdom is, is going to result in martyrdom. But here we are today where, uh, as, as Christians, evangelicals, uh, people who are part of historic African-American churches, people who are a part of dynamic Latino churches, uh, we're wrestling with what, what, what is our role in society. And I think that as white evangelicals, we, we tend to personalize everything. So when I, when I think about uh, Easter and Jesus signed the cross, he died to be my own personal savior. Others might say he died for the sins of the whole world. There, there's a systems way of thinking there. And so I think one challenge that we, we face as we follow this Jesus is do we follow him into the world, uh, where there were times where he challenged the, the status quo, um, or do we retreat? And it seems as though Jesus did both, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And I, I think that we My kingdom is out of this world, for example. You're saying, you know, don't expect correct. me to... And, 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 and in a time where there was such an evil political system, Jesus spent very little time talking about the rulers of this world, very little time talking about politics. It was the establishment of a new kingdom. And so what are the values of the new kingdom? Who's the leader of the new kingdom? The king of kings, the lord of lords. What does it mean to be citizens of these two worlds? I think that's where we find ourselves today, is, is how do we find this, this, uh, this unity, from people who are very different from one another in our own country and around the world, while at the same time <clears throat> being faithful in our societies. But there's a, diff so, there's a different lens because Jesus was all about politics, mm -hmm. right? Jesus was about health care. He was mm -hmm. healing people. Mm -hmm. Jesus was about social systems of welfare and per making sure that everyone had provisions. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first thing that the disciples did when they come to Acts 2 is they made sure that those who had you know, liquidated their assets mm -hmm. in order to make sure those that didn't have had access to whatever mm -hmm. they needed. Mm -hmm. That was what Jesus taught. Mm -hmm. Jesus looked at around and he walked through the hills and the valleys. He mm -hmm. went to the water, right? Mm -hmm. So he didn't necessarily just, just deal in the cities, right? Mm -hmm. And then he also visited people. He mm -hmm. spoke to those who were alien. He spoke to those who were strangers, mm -hmm. right? So there is a sense of uh, immigration and, and, and people not mm -hmm. being where they belong in essence. And so in many ways, from, from a lens of uh, people in the trenches, that's political because mm -hmm. we don't have access to the kings and the rulers. We don't. Mm -hmm. Some people don't even have access to the vote, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, so in order to express your way in the social, political, economic, cultural, and spiritual, that's political, mm -hmm. right? And to go beyond that, you know, I mean, even as we speak about, you know, who is Jesus? I would think, can we say that Jesus is also the letters of Paul? And that Jesus is also the letters of uh, Jude, Jude yeah, or James, Peter, yeah. uh, because uh, I think you know sometimes we compartmentalize uh, Christianity into okay the, the red letter mm -hmm. uh, Bible, <laughs> yeah, King James. but I believe that the the revelation of Jesus, yeah. the heart of Jesus, yeah, the the so. mind, the frame of Jesus, mm -hmm. continues into the post uh, Jesus, mm -hmm. quote unquote, the, the incarnated Jesus mm -hmm. uh, period of the church. Mm -hmm and even continues uh, to this day. So what, what I mean by that is that what we see, for example, in the book, of, as soon as we enter into the book of Acts, mm -hmm. as soon as we continue into some of the ruminations of the Apostle Paul when he writes some of his pastoral letters, mm -hmm. and we start talking about um, uh, you know, the structuring of the church, the governance of the church emerging slowly, the deacons and the, mm -hmm. and the elders of the church and the pastors and so on and so forth, um, and we begin to see there also this, uh, this uh, brain of the church uh, uh, wiring itself mm -hmm. beyond Jesus. Now is the Holy Spirit of yeah. Jesus yeah. is uh, expressing himself yeah. through different decisions that the church mm -hmm. makes. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden it becomes even more political yes. because then you have, for example, Cornelius, yes. mm -hmm. you yes. know, one of the first Gentiles yes. to be profiled. Mm -hmm. uh, really, in a way, it's almost like he's the first 
convert yeah, in yeah, a way yeah. Yeah. that, uh, oh, pay, uh, you know, Gentile convert mm -hmm. yeah. that serves as an example, as a paradigm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And who is he? He's a centurion, my yeah. God. I mean, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. he, he's a Roman centurion who didn't get to his rank by mm -hmm. being a nice guy. That's right. <laughs> or by playing it fair. Yeah. I mean, he had to. He had to probably kill they were a lot guys. of yeah. people they were and guys. had to mm -hmm. really commit yeah. a lot of injustices yeah. to acquire the credibility. It's like being in the mafia. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to shoot some people mm -hmm. and kill them before you're, you know, uh, made. Yeah. And, and so, and yet, this is the guy that uh, you know uh, God chooses to make an example of this encompassing Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, who is now including, you know, the Gentiles in there. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus himself healed, uh, you know, uh, uh, the servant of the centurion. Mm -hmm. um, slavery, mm -hmm. you know, the whole issue of how mm -hmm. Paul speaks about slavery. I know for a lot of African Americans, you know, it's, it's a problem the yeah. way mm -hmm. Paul treats yeah. uh, slavery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the way he, you know, he says, hey, be, you know, be submissive to your yeah. masters yeah. and, uh, you know, serve them really well yeah. and so on. Was Paul really um, supporting mm -hmm. slavery? Mm -hmm. Or was he taking a much more expansive, expansive view yes, yes. of what would happen yes. when the church short-circuited this yes. institution of slavery mm -hmm. by putting some slaves to become bishops yes. of, of some slaveholders, actually, mm -hmm. in yes. the same church yes. and kind of creating a, 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 an intellectual, cultural, uh, a cognitive dissonance that yes. would just, boom, yes. short-circuit the whole system, mm -hmm. yeah. as ended up happening. Yeah. You know, this church, in other words, this, this Christ that sees God working, you know, over many many different centuries yes. and playing with a with a chessboard that is almost infinite in number of pieces that it handles and so sometimes when we're seeing trump right now not to get too far out there but bringing it down to where we are now you know can can trump for example be a a just a little uh, chess piece that that god is moving yeah. in in within maybe a milli inch yeah of a space yeah. but since we're deeply within that space we think that you know it, this this is something that is absolutely yeah. huge and, yeah. but in the in the light of what god may be doing mm -hmm. yeah. positioning some other things to come about in the church yeah. and so on and so forth of course you know how how significant is it at of all course. and should we be worried about it or in other words how yeah. passionate should we yeah. be I, I, about I, I, that i, I, I think that's, of that's course what I'm trying to. it's if, complex god in if, words, if god can use burning bushes and, and 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 red seas that split in half and 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 donkeys and all kinds of of really peculiar situations, then clearly God can use a Trump, you know, uh, God can use individuals and figures all throughout the course of history. The question is, are we able to allow God to be God and we to be God's creation? Yeah, and also just right. question the hell out of him as well if well, we need to. I yeah, mean, you know, in I other mean, words, uh, and consistently. I, I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not advocating for, well, you, no, know, I'm not you know, yeah. this is a big, long-term no, 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 thing no, 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 and no, no, let's uh, no. let him be whoever. No, no I'm, I'm not saying that. Yeah. That's what I want to hear. And I, and I think that's, guys, but, but, but I agree uh, with you because th this is not the end of the world, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Only God defines when the end of the world mm -hmm. is. And, and, and every time, every moment that we have a waking, you know, drop of oxygen that we can breathe, I think we do need to interrogate God. But that means that we have to go closer to God to seek God's conscience, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so you can't pull away from God being angry and bitter at God, right? So God is big enough to deal with our anger, right? Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. you have to have that discontent and, and, that, and that angst, right? Mm -hmm. And you have to bring it to yeah, God. I yeah, tell yeah. my congregants all the time that, that God is so ginormous that you cussing God out is okay if you do it yeah if you do it where God is present uh, uh, right yeah, but but yeah. don't but don't you know swear he, away he doesn't do mind a little yeah, pushback yeah, he, he doesn't yeah. at all on the contrary I think he, yeah. he just I know uh, I know uh, you, you you might be troubled with that, that dog because I, I I know of your love mm -hmm. for um, the oppressed, mm -hmm. for the voiceless, and that's really what civilitas mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. really seeks mm -hmm. to do in your whole life, I mean, embodies that concern for the poor yeah. and so on. I mean, how, how are you processing th this piece of the conversation? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm realizing some of the challenges that and we face. don't be face. afraid to no, just no. express, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. Not at all. It is. I'm, I'm enjoying this, and, and, and I'm, I'm actually thinking about my experience as a missionary in Japan for 20 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. when there were many times when, uh, as a young missionary who had an ambiguously clear sense of calling to Japan, I would think, why did they do that? They, the, the Japanese. Mm -hmm. uh, because you see them in, in general terms, and then you, then you begin to be able to differentiate um, groups within in Japan. But there was a mystery. I mean, for, for one, I didn't speak the language. I didn't, I didn't know the history of the people. I mean, I had studied it, but I, didn't really, I hadn't entered into it. 
And so this really is a challenge, again, where in a sense it requires a type of a missionary anthropology. I need to understand your language. For example, um, as a white evangelical, I never heard anybody talk about Jesus being concerned about health care. When he healed a person, that was simply an act of compassion. Uh, Jesus was demonstrating his power. Or oh, it's a spiritual act, you know, right, some people right. might just say act, don't but, divorce but, but, it from but, the but whole But in your case, it's like it's thing. almost like you see this as the antecedents of Obamacare.